Right, so section E is realising our idea. And this is, this is the really big sort of the workshop heavy area. Um, now there's a trap that happens every year, every single year, where students just get locked into this. They're in the workshop and they make iteration after iteration, just loads of changes happening left, right and centre. And then in the folder, they go from section D, here's my idea, to a fully finished idea. And there's no in-between, there's no explanation of how they got there or what happened. And really, this section is worth 20 marks. So everything you do, every mistake you make, everything that hinders you or blocks you on your journey should be recorded in your folder. I'd expect to see maybe two or three slides devoted to this section. And uh, it's an opportunity for you to talk about quality control and quality assurance talk about um, the settings you've used on any machinery that you've used, a laser cutter or a 3D printer. How have you made sure that the settings were right and the material was right? How did you choose your material? So there might be some research into the materials that are going to be the most uh, effective for your final product. And you might actually be testing as well. So you, let's say if you're making a box, you might uh, test some joints with some different woods to see the impact. You might try some different joining methods. You might try some different finishing techniques and just test and sample all of these different things. You might make some jigs or some kind of templates to help make sure that your quality is correct as you come to uh, produce your final product. And all of that stuff should be in section E. So it's really very technical and very hands-on. Uh, for example, I talked about this styrofoam model for a comic book stand. Now, it works and it was developed. The next stage was that uh, they created a CAD model version of this. Now, even if they'd never got around to making this final product, that's enough, that's enough to still get full marks because they're showing that journey and they're showing where it would end up. So it's really important to point out that for this course, you don't even really need to make a final finished thing because you could have 3D printed a really small version of this just to show the finish, just to show the quality and to prove the concept and that would have been more than enough. As it is, um, she had enough time to see it all the way through. So I'm just going to talk to you about section E. And as we can see, she tried some different materials for different types of finish to see the outcome. Um, some different versions of the CAD models that didn't quite work very well. In fact, each and every one of these is a failed attempt. Hollow, 15% infill. This was a gloss which didn't take to the surface. Um, this one snapped, it was too brittle. And so you can see each one of these though hasn't been thrown away, hasn't just gone in the bin and keep trying the same thing. Each one of these is in the folder with the settings that were used, why it's gone wrong and what the next step is. And each one of these is a step closer and closer to the final product. So it's really important to record all of that in your realising the design ideas. And as I say, if you're making a product out of wood, then you should be testing different types of woods. You should test different joining methods. You should apply some different varying finishes and record the results before you commit to making your final product. You should be exploring all of these options that are available to you. If you're making a product out of acrylic, well, why are you doing that? Um, have you thought about the sustainability implications? Do you know what the right settings are if you're laser cutting it? Do you know what the right settings are if you're 3D printing with um, PLA or ABS? Which material are you going to choose and why are you choosing it? So all of those decisions should be really, really um, well documented in your folder. Okay, so this is the section where you take a, a prototype, a working model prototype out of styrofoam or foam board into a physical product out of the proper material.